Merry Christmas and happy holidays to you from Optimal Training Group. Hope you all had a wonderful time with family and friends and you got a chance to eat a lot and get full. Um, so welcome. In this video, uh, this is going to be the first of a series of videos where I'm going to be showing you how to create a travel request application from scratch. But we're going to be using a solution. So a lot of times as beginners, we go ahead, we come here to create, and then we create a, an application a app from blank or from Dataverse or SharePoint. You know, that's how we usually create it. But the best practice is to use a solution. And the reason you want to use a solution because there are lots of benefits. First of all, what is a solution? A solution is like a container and it holds all of your components as needed. So let me come in here. You know, it holds all of your components, you know, these components can include the apps, you know, workflows, entities, forms, and, and a whole lot more. So if I come here, you see how you have new, you can create a canvas app or model driven app, a cloud flow, you have connectors, you have a desktop flow, card you have here, you have like variables, tables, security, all of this is all in, in all in a solution. And so when you have it all in a solution, it is easier to just move it from one environment to the next environment. So if you had a, a development environment, test environment, staging environment, and production environment, you can easily just move from one environment to the next environment. And that's the benefit of, um, of a solution. Really, that's the, the purpose. And you have unmanaged and you have managed solutions. So when we get to that point, we're going to be talking about these different concepts when it comes to solution. It's a great way to organize your components and it's easy to manage. So when we create our travel request application is from scratch, not only the solution, but also we're going to be creating our SharePoint list from scratch because that's going to be our back end. Uh, and maybe I do another video where we use the diverse, but we're going to create our SharePoint list from, from scratch because SharePoint is being used everywhere. I mean, I've been in so many different organizations as a consultant and that's, it's being used everywhere, no matter where I go. So we're going to talk about SharePoint list. I've had a few requests in some videos that I've done in the past where I've had a few of those users say, Hey, how do you create a, a, a SharePoint list? So I'm going to just kind of go over the basics of a SharePoint list, creating it, creating columns. We're going to talk about metadata, talk about permissions. We're going to create our workflows from scratch, create our environment variables from scratch. And we're all, we're going to be, we're going to be doing all of this within a solution that we create from scratch. Um, so that's what we're going to be doing. So let me show you what exactly we're going to be the process flow of what we're going to be building. So here's a chart I created in, um, in Lucy chart, this flow here, you know, so as you can see, it is a three stage approval process. So the user comes in here and submits a travel request. A notification gets sent to the team lead. And when the team lead approves, a notification gets sent to the next stage. And if the manager approves, it gets sent to the next swim lane. As you can see, these three swim lanes. And if, if there's a rejection, that same thing happens likewise. Likewise, um, a notification gets sent to the um, user in the manager level, a notification gets sent to the user and also to the previous approver. And the same thing with the senior manager. And the same thing happens when there's an approval. It gets sent to the user and whoever in the, in the previous approvers. So a lot of things, as this is happening, a lot of things are happening in the background. You know, lists are being, um, updated we have things you know we have a lot of checking in power apps of who is the current user is the current user an approver if they're an approver then show this and if they're not an approver then don't show this um, if they're a team lead manager senior manager they get shown you know different things are visible to them and different things are not visible to them so we're going to be going through that whole gamut of things uh, of what's happening as we build our our application so please stay tuned
please go ahead and like and subscribe so that you can know when the next video comes out so you can keep track with me of, of what's going on as I'm building this thing from scratch. Um, and also, please share the video. So that's that for this video. In our next video, we're going to start with SharePoint and we're going to build our list, build our columns. We're also going to build our security list as well. Um, which controls the access of who can see what and who should have access to the approval side of the house of this application. Um, so stay tuned. I'm going to be releasing the video every Monday. I've been doing a good job as far as trying to be consistent and listen and, and, and um, releasing videos on Monday. So stay tuned for the next video that's going to be released next Monday. So um, hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope I've shown you what to look forward to. And um, thanks. I'm excited. Thank you. Bye.